Ah, what did I just watch? Goodness. Ah, you will be as frustrated as I am within just a few minutes. Just wait. You'll see. I promise I will deliver. Um, I watched a, an exchange between Douglas Murray and James Barr on Pierce Morgan's channel. They were discussing um, a singer who uh, recently did some pretty scandalous things. And it was brought up in these discussions that, you know, Pope Francis is totally on board with transgenderism and all that. And I just thought, wait, hold on. What? Huh? What? You know, as a Catholic, my ears perked up at that point. Then I heard James Barr. Um, again, the comedian that we're going to see evidently is a comedian. Um, he made the claim yet again. And then he made the claim a third time and finally attempted to offer a source for his claim. And so what I want to do is watch this clip of the exchange between the two. And then I want to fact check James by not only looking into what he quoted from Pope Francis, but also what Pope Francis has said elsewhere. And then you tell me if uh, Pope Francis is in favor of transgenderism. All right. Prepare to be frustrated. Um, prepare to pull out your hair. I had hair until I watched this video and then I pulled it out. Let's see here. All right. Let's begin. Uh, welcome back. Sam Smith is back again with more attention-seeking vulgarity. Uh, they're never one to do things quietly in recent years. We have to remember to call him they, their, them, even though there's only one of them. Uh, remember the latex balloon at the Brits? But they've taken things up and... I just have to throw this out there. You know, this plural language to refer to oneself seems awfully familiar. Oh, yeah, I remember Legion in the Bible referred... Uh, to himself in the same way. Notch, haven't they, with a new global tour criticized as hypersexualized and satanic? And apologize if you're easily offended for what you're about to see. Brother, <laughs> I, I like whoever uh, put together the videos here, <laughs> the montage. Yeah, exactly. Well, joining me now is comedian James Barr and best-selling author of The Madness of Crowds, Douglas Murray. Well, Douglas, let me start with you. Uh, I don't get this Sam Smith thing. It just seems like every week he deliberately... They. I'm sorry, they, even though there's, they. Only, one, there's only one of them. Why, why is Sam Smith they? No, please do address Douglas first, but I just need to well, correct just you to if you miss Jen. Why is, That's how they identify the why is, why is Why? Can we stop it with these ridiculous ridiculous claims of misgendering someone just stop stop gender is not subjective and relative stop it we're not buying it and you can't regulate people's speech to accommodate your wild ideology again if i want to identify as a king i cannot insist that you call me your Holiness, Michael, you, I can't expect you to participate in my delusion. Why is one person they? Because that's how they identify. Why have I got to go along with it? Because they've asked you to. So what? No one's asked me to. Even the Pope. All right. Well, I identify as James Barr's um, superior. Um, so from now on, he has to refer to me as master. I wonder if he'll go for that. Why is one person they? 
Because that's how they identify. Why have I got to go along with it? Because they've asked you to. So what? No one's asked me to. Even the Pope respects people's pronouns now. I don't have to respect anybody's pronouns. Now, we heard the, the Pope being brought up here for the first time. Again, my ears perked up when he said that. I thought, hmm, I don't recall Pope Francis participating in this delusion of pronouns but okay uh let's see what um you know what, what else he has to say does he have any evidence for this well that's fine as long as that's right. your decision my cool. pronoun is hottest man in the world yeah well i'm happy to call you that well, go on, then. some may disagree but well, yeah on. Go on, if then. that's what you are go on, then. then cool i will address you as the hottest man in the world throughout the entire interview. throughout the entire okay interview. let's stick to that douglas let's <laughs> come back to you uh, you don't have to call me the hottest man in the world even if you're thinking it um sam smith <laughs> I, to me, he's just on an ever-deteriorating campaign to be as vulgar and offensive as he possibly can. Am I missing something? Uh, he, he's doing what pop stars have done for decades, which is trying to shock as a means to get publicity. And, of course... Yeah, obviously, this is a publicity stunt, um, very clearly. And even I can tell that. And I say even I because, honestly, I've never heard of Sam Smith until... 20 minutes ago when I watched this video, I still don't know who Sam Smith is other than the video clip I just saw. I, I don't know what that says about me. Or maybe it says something about Sam Smith. I, I don't know. Well, he's pretty successful. I mean, we're talking about him at the moment. Uh, but it's, it's striking that it's sort of very unoriginal. I mean, all the stuff he's doing, the sort of over-sexualized stuff, the sort of satanic stuff. Madonna did this 40 years ago. Um, uh, you know, uh, pop stars have done this and more for decades now. Uh, I think the only thing that Sam Smith has got sort of going for him on this and the thing actually is making people notice him on this is that, first of all, he keeps sort of throwing these bollards in the way of everyone by changing his alleged gender all the time. You know, okay, I, he came so out I some years ago. Why do you say James? I'll bring he, you he came he came out many years ago as gay, and then he said he was actually uh, gender queer, and then he said he was non-binary, and he said he didn't know what it meant. Of course, he didn't, because there's no such thing. They, but he he said that they were going to. Uh, he said that he thought that he was gender queer. And he he didn't know what it meant, but he said that he would explain it someday when he did know. And I th sort of think if you're going to make everyone else distort the language, you should know what you're talking about first. So he does that to get publicity, obviously. And the other thing he does is he does this sort of. Um, you know, like uh, taking all these clothes off stuff. And, and the thing that makes it different... Look, look at James Barr. He is frustrated. Let's, let's watch that again. He can't sit there still and just listen to what Douglas has to say. Like, it eats him up on the inside to just hear an opposing perspective. And Douglas is, is by no means... Um, you know, a um, wild conservative, right? I mean, he he himself um, is, um, you know, he, he come, certainly comes from a different perspective, it would seem, in, in some areas, which we'll, we'll see here in a moment. So that's why I'm being a little guarded in my description, so there's no spoil alert. What it meant, but he said that he would explain it someday when he did know. And I thought, sort of think, if you're going to make everyone else distort the language, you should know what you're talking about first. So he does that to get publicity, obviously. And the other thing he does is he does this sort of, um, you know, like uh, taking all these clothes off stuff. And and the thing that makes it different from other people is that when, oh, I don't know, Justin Timberlake or Rihanna or someone stripped down, they do so because they look good, like their bodies look good. Sam Smith is like pudgy and very ugly. <laughs> and so people look at it and he looks ridiculous. And the problem is, is that he's saying, don't ridicule me, but it's hard not to ridicule. Oh, well, input, input latency says, I'd like a refund of my eyes for the first three minutes. I apologize. I should have warned you about that. Sorry. People when they present this right, well, that's absolutely okay. disgusting. Yeah, I, what are you talking about? Okay, on that point, I completely agree. Why say don't ridicule me when you deliberately make yourself look ridiculous? No, that is disgusting. That is a completely disgusting. Well, it is disgusting. Yeah, we do find it disgusting. No. Wait, I'm, I'm confused by what James Barr um, determines to be disgusting. So, what he saw from this Sam Smith guy wasn't disgusting, but what is disgusting is what. Douglas Murray is saying, oh, well, okay, that's an interesting standard for what is disgusting. All right. 
disgusting. What you're saying is Why? Disgusting. We're allowed to find it you, disgusting. No, you are not. Yes, you I can't am. keep commenting on what people look like all the time. Yes, I can. It's a, if okay they're going to dress like that on a stage in front of millions of people around the world, absolutely I can. Thank you for getting the pronoun correct. I really appreciate that. Listen, did I? Douglas, yes, you did. Well, have, you called, have you called me mine? Hottest man in the world, okay. Piers, according to Selma and yourself. Yeah. Um, listen, the Pope recently said they completely accept every gender identity and that, that everyone is a child. Why should child anyone of... be compelled to use a pronoun from someone who's I changed their own just... identity three times in three I years? I just want to go back to well. also another reason I'm saying, saying, okay. Actually, I think it's yeah. very important to note that other pop stars have done this, including... ...killed me. But it's hard not to ridicule people when we need they to present see that that again. Again. Okay. Sorry, I'm rewinding that because we need to see that part again, because we heard the second time that he mentions the Pope. Disgusting. Well, it is disgusting, yeah. We do find it disgusting. No, what you're saying is Why? Disgusting. We're allowed to find it you, disgusting. No, you are not. Yes, you I can't am. keep commenting on what people look like all the time. Yes, I can. Think it's if okay they're going to dress like that on a stage in front of millions of people around the world, absolutely I can. Thank you for getting the pronoun correct. I really appreciate that. Listen, did I? Douglas, yes, you did. Well, have, you called, have you called me mine? Hottest man in the world, okay. Piers, according to some and yourself. Yeah. Um, listen, the Pope recently said they completely accept every gender identity and that, that everyone is a child. Why should child anyone be... Listen, did I? Douglas, yes, you did. Well, have, you called, have you called me mine? Somebody said there I was muted. It, it's probably good that, that I was muted. Let's hear it again. Hottest man in the world, okay. Piers, according to some and yourself. Yeah. Um, listen, the Pope recently said they completely accept every gender identity and that, that everyone is a child. Why should child anyone be... Okay. The Pope recently says he accepts every gender identity and that everyone is a child of God. Now, I found that interesting given that it's kind of my thing to pay attention to what the Pope says, especially on these hot button topics. Um, it's one of the things I do here. So I was wondering, oh, when did this happen? I, I didn't get the memo on that one. In fact, he actually said something um, that seem to be the very opposite of the first part that James gave us there, which is that he accepts every gender identity. No, 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 no. Go back, read Amorsa Titia. Go back and read um, Dignitas Infinita. Now, we'll look at that here in a moment. Now, this other part about everyone, you know, has dignity. Yeah, sure. Of course, there's nothing new there. There's nothing controversial there. Of course, everyone has dignity. Sure, we're all made in the image and likeness of God. This is Christianity 101. There's nothing groundbreaking there. How does that translate into accepting every gender identity? It doesn't. But he just spews and vomits misinformation from his mouth. Um, And I don't know. I... I don't know a whole lot about James Barr. I googled him moments before the show, and I saw enough to really, really suspect that he's just doing this as a troll. Um, but I thought it was incredible that he spreads this kind of misinformation and that it goes unchallenged. We're, we're going to hear him make another claim about the Pope in a moment, and then I want to take a look at his source, and then we're going to take a look at uh, other things that the Pope has said, and we're going to see if James Barr um, is on point or if he is completely out there um, and lives up to his vocation as a comedian. 
compelled to use a pronoun from someone who's I changed their own just... identity three times in three I years. I just want to go back there's, there's as well. Also another reason reason with them. Actually, I think it's yeah. very important to note that other pop stars have done this, including Lewis Capaldi, who recently did a campaign mm. where he was naked on a billboard, and there were nowhere near as many vile <laughs> comments at Lewis Capaldi's body. The only reason you can't seriously... the only reason there's a problem for Sam doing it is because you aren't happy with his gender identity because it makes you feel no. Insecure. I don't care about his gender identity. I just don't feel I can be compelled to use pronouns. I don't care about. That's that. fine. Don't use them if you don't yeah. want to. That's wrong. Okay. But that's totally well, you just told me I had to. No, I think you should. But if you don't want to, so I don't have decision. to. Piers, shut up. Well, I'm not Piers. I'm <laughs> hottest man alive. Right. Okay. Right. So you're um, changing your name now. You're no longer. But my point about Sam Smith is it's just an orgy of, in my view narcissistic, self-indulgent, deliberately shocking stuff. And Douglas has got a point. He doesn't, he looks terrible. Okay, so- Why would you do this? You're friends with Ozzy Osbourne. I'm sorry, it's not shocking to me, it's just stupid. Osbourne, right? Yeah. And Ozzy Osbourne ate a bat's head on stage. Yeah. That could be considered vulgar. I mean, he basically- Ozzy Osbourne the, never did anything like this. He started the COVID pandemic. What? I think it's brilliant. I think it's sexy. I sexy. Think it's you think that's sexy? That is, and I, that's <laughs> someone- Do you think what we're looking at right now is sexy? Yes, I do. All right, so you can clearly see, again, James Barr, I really think that he is trolling deliberately. Obviously, he does not find this to be uh, attractive, and yet he claims he does. So, yes, I suspect that he is just a troll here to provoke people um, and to get clicks and to further his name. It seems like it may be in relation to a tour that he has, a comedy tour. Well, the, the tour began early with this video because James Barr's incompetency in this discussion is hilarious. So I will give him credit as a comedian. Seriously. Would you yeah, shag it? <laughs> Would I shag it, did you say? Well, there's a question. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, I would have sex really? with them. Thank you for well, asking. You're a would you, man Douglas? Than me. Because it sounds like you're a little bit too obsessed with them, if I'm honest with you. No, 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 I can assure you I'm not. I know what I like, and I don't like fat, blubbery show offs who look hideous dressed in lacy pants with their fat spilling out everywhere and doing it in front of as many people as possible to gain attention. I just don't find that sexy. I'm old fashioned. I think you're friends with Piers Morgan. <laughs> Well, you'll notice, uh, you'll notice, of course, that Piers hasn't appeared on this show naked with nipple tassels on. Yes. I mean, that's yes, one big Douglas. starter, isn't it? Yes. Daddy, chill. I'm going to quote the Pope again, because the Pope has done this Why? documentary. Are you a Catholic? Do you think we're I'm not, all but Catholic? I think it's really well, I am a Catholic. I think so. it's... All right, so we're hearing the Pope brought up a third time. A third time. This, again, wasn't just something in passing. He is really intent on bringing the Pope into this discussion. Okay, you, great. So the Pope said that to explain. All right, the Pope said what? Express yourself sexually is a richness, mm. and that anything that detracts from real sexual expression lessens you and depletes that richness. But he's not. So <laughs> and that somehow proves everything that he has claimed about the Pope so far. <laughs> So what he quoted was from Pope Francis's uh, video on Hulu, the documentary that I reviewed a while back. Uh, and it was in reference to a question about uh, masturbation. And he says, to express yourself sexually is a richness. So anything that detracts from real sexual expression, he didn't read this part to you, by the way. So anything that detracts from real sexual expression, uh, expression lessens you and depletes this richness, he said, in reference to masturbation. This had nothing to do with transgenderism or promoting transgenderism. But notice he says to express yourself sexually is rich. What does he mean by that? Well, um, anybody who knows anything at this point should know that Pope Francis has said in fiducia, supplicans among other places, for this reason, since the church is always considered only those sexual relations that are lived out within marriage to be morally illicit, the church does not have the power to confer its liturgical blessing when that would somehow show or offer a form of moral legitimacy to a, re to a union that presumes to be a marriage or to be an extramarital sec sexual practice. And so he's saying, okay, you can only have sexual relation uh, relations within a marriage. Now, what is a marriage? Great question. 
he defines it as something that is only between a man and a woman right here in paragraph four. A marriage, which is the exclusive, stable, and indissoluble union between a man and a woman, naturally open uh, to the generation of children. And what contradicts it is inadmissible. So in other words, transgenderism, um, which would go along with acts of homosexuality, that is obviously going to be excluded. So that's what effectively James Barr is trying to offer um, and portray Pope Francis as in favor of not only transgenderism, but then uh, transgender acts, which again includes homosexual acts. And again, this is just not at all the case. It is clear Pope Francis says that only acts that are sexual in nature um, within a marriage between a man and a woman are it admissible. So whenever he speaks of expressing yourself sexually as a richness, he's not talking about expressing yourself as transgenderism or transgender. He's not talking about expressing yourself um, with homosexual acts. He is talking about expressing yourself sexually in a marriage between um, a husband and wife. That's what he's referring to. Not only that, you also have, again, Pope Francis saying over here, at the same time, the church calls recalls that God never ceases to bless each of his pilgrim children in this world, but he does not and cannot bless sin. He blesses sinful man so that he may recognize that he is part of the plan of love and allow himself to be changed. He, in fact, takes us as we are, but never leaves us as we are. For the above-mentioned reasons, the church does not have and cannot have the power to bless unions of persons of the same sex in the sense intended above. So it identifies as sin same-sex unions, and therefore that would show, again, same-sex acts are illicit um, and sinful, according to this document. So he is nowhere supporting um, you know, homosexual acts as far as transgenderism itself. Well, he has, uh, let's see, about one, two, three, four, five, uh, about five paragraphs in his new document, Dignitas Infinita, which was, again, um, already promulgated well before this interview with uh, Douglas Murray and James Barr. And clearly he is not on board with transgenderism in these passages. And then, by the way, check out paragraph 60, where he makes it abundantly clear. He notes, as far as uh, sex changes and those surgeries, the dignity of the body cannot be considered inferior to that of the person as such. The catechism expressly invites us to recognize the human body shares in the dignity of the image of God. Such a truth deserves to be remembered in this. The body serves as the living context in which the interiority of the soul unhold, uh, unfolds and manifests itself, constituting the person's being. The soul and body both participate in the dignity that characterizes every human being. So the part about dignity is true, but then look. Moreover, the body participates in that dignity as it is endowed with personal meaning, particularly in its sexed condition. It is in the body that each person recognizes himself or herself as generated by other, others, and it is through their body that men and women can establish a loving relationship capable of generating other persons. Teaching about the need to respect the natural order of the human person, Pope Francis affirmed that creation is prior to us. It must be received as a gift. At the same time, we are called to protect our humanity. And this means in the first place, accepting it and respecting it as it was created. It follows that any sex change intervention, as a rule, risks threatening the unique dignity the person has received from the moment of conception. And again, when read on the heels of these paragraphs about gender identity, again, completely opposing uh, transgenderism and what we hear from secular society on gender, um, it is abundantly clear that what James Barr is doing is either the worst possible incompetency in engaging what Pope Francis said, or it is trolling and being dishonest. Either way, when you fact check him, he is way out of bounds. 
And so to insist on Pope Francis over and over, Pope Francis accepts all the gender identities and wants you to express them. But he, he doesn't actually say that. And when you ask for receipts, we're given an out-of-context quote that doesn't actually help James Barr. When you actually read it in context, it hurts everything that James Barr stands for. All right, well, let's finish it out. Doing this for sexual expression. Oh dear He's God! He's doing this just to be you just picking any old Doing dogma. it just to be deliberately offensive. Both just go back to clutching your pearls. Go back to. I don't have any England. pearls. <laughs> okay. Um, Douglas, are we look? Are we misreading the room here? Are there millions of young people around the world watching this, thinking he's the hottest thing on a stage anywhere in the world right now, and we should just get used to it? Uh, no, no, I don't think so at all. Uh, uh, no gay guys I know are attracted to this. Everyone thinks it's just kind of ugly and stupid, and it's attention grabbing and much more. Uh, I, I think Sam Smith's a person of limited talent. Myself, I don't much <laughs> care for his voice. Wow. But the point is, is that of course he just kind of goes around and tries to make headlines. And as I say, he's pretty successful at doing that. Uh, but yeah. I don't think anyone finds it sexy. I don't know any woman who finds it sexy. I don't know any gay man who finds it sexy. Most gay men I know are attracted to men because they're men. Sam Smith, by the way, is. He's always trying to cough off with people like Tom Daly and things. I don't and think they you don't can speak reciprocate. for all gay men, to be honest with you, what? Douglas. Those are pretty much what? your own words from things I've heard you say before. You can't speak for an entire community. No, so... no, I don't I don't try to. I don't believe there's any such, such thing as a gay community or an LGBTQIA. Yeah. yeah, I'm trying to figure that one out. We We you know have somehow designated all these communities <laughs> i i just wonder like okay where does this end i mean so we're gonna just establish communities based on just anything these days so like if people if there's some people out there who like tartar sauce do is there now a tartar sauce community <laughs> There's some people who like mayonnaise. Are, are are we to speak of the mayonnaise loving community? <laughs> Where does this stupidity end? <laughs> Plus I, two, I think actually, if you think this show is offensive, you should come else. to my stand-up show because compared to that, what? Sam Smith's tour is a love letter to. There, there you go. He mentions his stand-up show. He's just trying to plug his comedy show. James, you don't have to go on tour. This was it. This was your act. Just, just. Come back on Pierce Morgan and do this again. This was your act. This should be your entire tour. This, this was hilariously bad, yes. Christianity and Jesus. Really? So I'll well, see you at my tour. Starts tomorrow, by I the did way. It, I, we don't care. I, mean, I, 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 I didn't know you were touring, but good luck with that. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, you know what, James? Best of luck with the tour. Uh, you're never going to persuade me, and clearly not Douglas either, that Sam Smith is anything other than an attention seeker. <laughs> because... <laughs> But this whole debate is attention seeking. Isn't being an artist about attention seeking? Well, it Isn't could that the be. Whole point? It could be. But when you're just going to that kind of length, just to be deliberately slobbishly offensive, I think it's unacceptable. But you're doing what you would say is slobbishly offensive. You're doing that right now by saying vulgar things about Sam Smith and deliberately misleading. Yeah, but I'm not them. wearing a Satan outfit. It doesn't matter what you decide is right or naked wrong. And, and semi naked. Is like, and once again, if you act in a vulgar way, you should expect people to be vulgar about you. Probably. I think that's the point. If you're going to do what he does, it's a bit like Madonna. You know, when she says, stop objectifying me, what else are we supposed to do with it, though? <laughs> given that all she ever does is demand we objectify You know what? And by the way, I, I love Swoosh's comment here. I love tartar sauce. Swoosh, I guess you are part now of, of the tartar sauce loving community. Uh, perhaps, perhaps there could be a website established uh, to give voice to the tartar sauce community. And uh, the tartar sauce community can be consulted uh, for its opinion on matters of faith and morals and society. Anytime something happens, you know, there's an update with Israel and Gaza. What does the tartar sauce community have to say about this? I need to know. Like, <laughs> you need to make a website. <laughs> I need to hear about this. Well, you're both cis, white, straight men. You can carry on. Hold up. Wait a minute. Oh, Hang on, right? Piers. Piers. Wait a second. What did he just say? What did you call us? Repeat it, but don't. I said you were both, but I can't remember, to be honest with you. Cis you white. Said, I think you said, okay, why don't you shut cis up for white, a moment? Straight, I think you straight, said, man. well, Douglas is think straight. You said How are you that not we're both, Douglas? I, I, I think you said we're both cis, white, straight men. First of all, I am white. Secondly, I am a man. 
Thirdly, I've been out and gay my entire adult life, which is about 25 years now. I don't well, know how old you, you are, for but, not I was, but I was, but I was, I was out Douglas. as, I was, I was. <laughs> Douglas, you didn't support the community or the, and you know what? Shame on you, Douglas, because you don't support the Mayo community either. We we have the Mayo gang in the house, Mayo gang glow up in the house. We have hand pan Henry. Uh, representing the tartar sauce community. You you didn't acknowledge them, Douglas. Shame on you, Douglas. You need to build up the Mayo gang and the tartar sauce community. What about the what what what's the what's that thing called whenever you mix uh mayonnaise with ketchup matchup or something? What about the matchup community? <laughs> Is there going to be a matchup community? There needs to be a tartar sauce convention, and all of the tartar sauce lovers come together in a convention and discuss what's going on in society. Because again, we have to establish a community surrounding just anything that can, you know, establish some kind of identity and unity between people. Yeah, we just have to have a whole community for it. <sighs> Okay. I was out as gay when you were still prancing around talking about whether or not you were. <laughs> so do be quiet. Do stop judging other people. And if I oh, were you, me I'd do a judging other people. Are you joking? I would do a oh little, my god, Douglas, that's the ridiculous. I I'm not the one the judging tiniest. other people here. I'm just pointing I out would, facts. I'm it, sorry, it, I got your. <sighs> All right. I'm trying to figure out why James Barr's skin is the same color pink as his shirt. Surely he would know, okay, if I am the exact same color as my shirt, maybe just for some contrast, I should put on maybe a darker shirt. I don't know. I'm sorry for my, um, for my rabbit trail there, but I, I just, I can't, I can't get over this. Your sexuality if, wrong. No, if I were you, I would do the tiniest bit of research before opening your mouth. You're embarrassing yourself. That's probably why people wouldn't I don't want think to come so. to your show. All right. Embarrassing yourself. Gentlemen, you're shame to the queer. You know community. what? I tell you who's. <laughs> he says shame to the queer community. I can't. It's really embarrassing. <laughs> I'm not a member of the queer community. Working here, working you hard. stupid sod. I tell you, I'm not a member <laughs> of the queer community. He's a member of the matchup community, the tartar sauce convention gathering community. The person who ultimately about, is genuinely community. embarrassing himself, herself, themselves, whatever. All right. There we go. That was the end of that. Well, hopefully, well, actually, I should say, well, yeah, hopefully you're not as frustrated as I was after having watched that the first time. It was pretty frustrating hearing the Pope um, being co-opted. Uh, in the way that James Barr did right there with baseless uh, claims. And then whenever he is called upon to produce receipts, uh, yeah, he was uh, bankrupt. The Modern Crusader says Mayo is the opposite of gross. I, I don't know. I don't know. Every now and then on, on something, I guess I'd eat mayo. But I, I've never like deliberately go out and buy mayo. It just wouldn't happen. Douglas is seriously going, I'm gayer than you. Um, I didn't know this about Douglas until this, this interview. It's interesting. Okay, what did we learn? Uh, we learned that people endlessly try to make Pope Francis out to be um, some liberal when he just isn't. And here I'm talking about liberalism. Um in its moral character. Um, turkey, sharp, cheddar, mayo. Yeah, yeah, maybe like with a sandwich or something. Yeah, sure. But I wouldn't deliberately go out and buy it. Clair to clarify on a spicy chicken sandwich, it's good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. R&T start a Kirkland coffee community. No, I'm going to go with the, what do I have over there? Great value classic roast community. I think we need to establish that. Um, I don't know if we have to have like bylaws or something for that. I, I don't know how that works. Maybe we need to consult an attorney first. 
um, establish that community, get a website, discuss having a convention, you know, um, and then we need to go to college campuses and make our presence known. And then whenever something happens in the news, we need to call up different news stations and tell them, hey, here is our collective statement. Here is what the great value classic roast coffee community thinks about, uh, you know, Israel's policy towards Iran. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need to do this because, again, we have to put everything's in terms everything in terms of communities based on just any anything to bring about identity and unity yes absolutely i would be in favor of a rt coffee association maybe we could do that i mean i'm i'm not opposed to it i'm really not i i think we could establish an rnt coffee community and that's what we'll call it rnt coffee community and we can write community posts on YouTube for the RNT coffee community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we, but we need an official uh, spokesman. Well, I'm sorry, you, you can't use that term anymore. Spokesperson. Okay. Maybe we should ask the coffee community what they think about these terms. Can you call it a spokesman or a spokesperson? We need an official statement from not only them, but also the matchup community. Uh, T Tanner says, I would buy the coffee if you sold it. I've had a lot of people say this. I might need to start a coffee company. I mean, like this maybe needs to happen. What happened to the morning scoop segments? I'll try to get back into the habit of doing those again. Spicy chicken with pepper jack. <clears throat> not bad, Jorge. Not bad. Uh, text kit says, I don't drink coffee. Well, fine. We can, we can discuss about having a tea community an earl gray tea community right that's the only kind of tea i know because in star trek the next generation <clears throat> captain picard drinks earl gray tea hot and so <laughs> all right <laughs> well call it sips and scripts hold on hold on hold on Maybe email that to myself as a <clears throat> as a reminder. I, 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 might, I might use this. Let's see. So for the morning show, huh? Morning show, sips and scripts. Is scripts that obvious as scripture? I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about that a little bit more. But I, I like this. I like it. I'm gonna sit that. Uh, send that to me. It sounds like it has some potential. Coffee and conversation for some deeper subjects. Okay, so y'all need to give me a title or, yeah, for the show. What should I call it? Like a morning coffee show? Uh-huh. Coffee and conversation. Coffee and conversion. Mm. Yeah. Maybe maybe send me some more. We, we, we need to brainstorm. Perhaps we can ask the tartar sauce community. <laughs> <laughs> what they think about this matter ask them for an official statement all right anyways that's gonna do it y'all all right just wanted to sneak this in hope y'all enjoyed it hit the like button and subscribe button i'll see you tomorrow god bless hey friends do you want others to discover why the catholic church is the church that jesus established and do you want to help people make sense of all the confusion in the catholic church today help contribute to this mission by supporting reason and theology at patreon.com forward slash reason and theology by doing so, you'll also get access to exclusive content for patrons only. Also, if you want to deepen your faith, there are free ebooks and even courses that you can sign up for by visiting reason.podia.com. Hey friends, I'm now teaching as an adjunct professor at Catholic Polytechnic University, and I am excited to announce that we will be offering the first ever Magisterial Studies Certificate Program. It consists of three courses, an Introduction to the Magisterium, Councils, Dogmas, Canons, and Decrees, and Evaluating Magisterial Teachings. If you want to further your education and learn more about Catholic Teaching Authority, this is the program for you. Check out catholicpolytechnic.org 
and click on the certificate tab at the top to sign up for the course today.